Hello and welcome to the Sports Pitch Podcast, the NRL, what is it called? Preview? No, 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 it's, not, I don't, it's a preview, but it's a... Preliminary? Preliminary? Qualifier. Qualifying final. There you go. Okay. So I, I've always been confused with what, which one it is. No, no. Like, I don't know which one the semi-final is, I don't know which one the qualifying, uh, qualifying obviously. This one. It's the NRL qualifying final preview. Mm. Mm, that's what it Two is, games. the qualifier. To qualify for the grand final. We're that close. We're, we're there. Yeah. We're pretty much there. Two weeks. <sighs> so shit. Less than two weeks left. So bad, man. What do you do for six months? Put the cricket on. Yeah, I'm gonna start watching it straight out. Are you? No, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pick. I don't out. understand it. Cricket. Like I understand the basics, but like I like T20. I've always watched T20. I just yeah, never but had you a can't team. watch a proper like full fucking a test match. Yeah, no, I can't do a test match. Full three day. I test can't match. watch a, a test match where they go like a dot ball means you just hit the ball. Yeah. And that's it. Like no run, no nothing. Just, just like no. Yeah, just hit it. It's like a tactical play. Yeah, no. Sack. How long do they go for? How long do they play days, for? Days, days. No, like in one day, how long do they play for? Hours. On end. Like eight hours minimum. And eight. people sit there and watch it. I don't get it. Well, they, obviously they're drinking in the crowd. Yeah, There's no way you're going to sit there for eight hours without having something. A drink or some caps, I don't know. Something, <laughs> Literally. Something. Get off your head and just yeah, watch it. you got to. Because there's no way I can do it. No way. But we're here. Two weeks left. Um, top four teams left in the competition. The best four teams from... From the uh, normal season. Um, yeah. Sad. Pretty down. But it's uh, two games that are very exciting. Mm. Two games that are... Can there be a shock? I doubt it. Maybe one of them. Maybe one. But the other one, I don't think so. No, no, me too. But it's uh, it's uh, it's going to be intriguing. Mm. Right? It's going to be exciting. Whatever happens, it's going to be Good fun. Uh, but the grand final next week, if the two teams go through, that should go through. Mm. It's That's going to be, be a, a hell of a game. That'll be a fucking cracking game. Hell of a game. All right. So uh, let's get into it. Straight into the thick of it, right? Storm v. The Roosters in Melbourne. One loss this season in Melbourne too. The Dragons. The Dragons. That's yeah, right. the okay. boys. Um, so they have a fantastic record there. Always have. Yep. Ins and outs. Um, is uh, Pretty much the same. Yeah, but it's far longer back up. No, he's, no, he's, he's just a reserve. Yeah, yeah, reserves. All right, it's uh, 1 through 13 for both teams. Or 1 through 17, I should say, for both teams. Just far longer coming in on the reserves for uh, for for Melbourne. Um, but that's it. The Roosters, um, their back's against the wall. In this yeah, game. yeah, definitely 100%. Yeah. Uh, back's against the wall. Jared Rui Hargreaves, he, you know, didn't get suspended last week, so... It is a plus. <laughs> That's a shock, but it, it's a plus. It's a plus, it really is, because if, if he wasn't there, I'd give him no chance. Yeah. But the fact that he's there... How much of a chance do you give him? 10%. 10%? Yeah. I can't see it going their way. I can't, I can't see him winning, especially in Melbourne. The record they have against the two top teams, wow. The record they've had all year against the top four sides in general. Yeah, but just if against Melbourne and Penrith... Yeah, they've been mopped. How long has it been? Yeah, it's been ages. A long, long time. Yeah, yeah. That they've beaten one of them, but it's um, it's telling, man. Uh, especially Penrith. Their record against Penrith is shocking. Yeah. Shocking. For our Melbourne in the mix, they've got a pretty bad record. Yeah, so uh, it's it's gonna be rough for them. But if it is one, where do you think it's one? <laughs> By the Roosters. By the Roosters. Yeah. I think. Sandon Smith has to come out and have his best best game of his life. Yeah. And Tedesco has to be pretty much on point. No, I completely agree. Because uh, look, you know, they've got the back they got the backs to do it. Yeah. They fr- do. Their, their forwards are as solid, but they need Tedesco to play like how he played last week, yeah. if not if not better. And Sandon Smith has to have a way better game than he did last week. Yeah, I think uh Sandon Smith did have a good game last week. Yeah. But, but he's he, got to go up a level. Yeah, again. that's what I mean. Yeah. Um I think uh, the Roosters have to hold the ball. Yeah. Discipline. Discipline, yeah. So Which the they had one. They had good last discipline week, yeah. last week, yeah. That's the number one thing. Mm. If they can hold the ball, stay disciplined, don't give Melbourne cheap possession. They can fight for they it. They can. Yeah. They really can. But do I see that happening? I don't think so. And this is like saying staying disciplined, keeping the ball, holding the ball, as well as Melbourne have to have one of their off days, which they've had. They have. They have, right? And they've... Got him very lucky, like uh, against the Tigers, Tigers they got lucky. Yeah. Um, against the Bulldogs, the first game we played, I think they beat us by two points. I'm pretty sure they've lost to the they lost to the Raiders. I'm pretty sure they lost to the Dragons. They've lost to the Dragons, Raiders. They've lost to Sharks. Mm. They've lost some games. I'm pretty sure they, they, lost, they did lose to the Raiders, yeah. Or was that Penrith? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember, but 
they they lost to the Sharks. Which yeah. Is, no. Well, you shouldn't be losing to the Sharks. You shouldn't be losing to the Dragons either. Yeah, that's true. Right, but they do have that game in it now. We have seen in finals footy they turned it on. Yeah, last week. The last, uh, the last, no, not last week, the week, the week before that, they absolutely turned it on. They looked scary against the against the Sharks. Yeah. Um, we're here now. Is it's Melbourne v Roosters? Who do you have? I got Melbourne. I have Melbourne. I'd like uh, you can't tip the Roosters if if Sam Walker was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be a very like it'd be Way a lot harder. closer, a lot closer. Yeah. But without him there and the inexperience that Sandin Smith has, mm. I don't think he can win them the game. What do you, what do you reckon? How, what's the margin? Mm. Score line. Give me a score prediction. Like the actual, like what I think is going to end. Yeah. <sighs> Bro, I reckon it could be maybe twenty six fourteen. Is it twenty eight ten? Twenty eight ten. Okay, I do think I think the Melbourne win. I think Melbourne win easy. Um, it's all going to be. I, I feel like uh, the way uh, Nelson Asafa Solomon is picked up yeah, is going to be fantastic. The battle back. between Nelson Asafa Solomon and Jadwe Hargreaves is going to be off its head. Yeah, because they're both going to come out firing. And it's out. always fireworks when those two meet. Because they're both hotheads. Yeah, and yeah. it's always fantastic. And I think Jared has a point to prove, mm. especially being the underdogs. He's going to come out firing, which sometimes could help. Sometimes can go completely the yeah, other way. Yeah, because if he gets too angry yeah. or too fired up, he's giving away penalties. He's getting sim being Yeah. Right, it's, and it'll it cost him the everything. game. But uh, I think um, Harry Grant is going to have a big say in his game. <sighs> he's been having a stellar for month. Yeah. Like the last month. 100%. He's been, he's been unbelievable, right? He peaked perfectly. Yeah. Jerome Hughes has been the best, the player probably, of the season. Probably Daily M. Yeah. Player of the season. Uh, Cameron Munster. So quiet throughout the whole season. Yeah. So quiet. But last week against the Sharks, he was like finals good. bang, yeah. explodes. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's a Melbourne thing to do. He's like, another guy. He didn't look nothing like it was wrong with. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. Yeah. Did he do a penalty? No, no, I don't think so. Rested him all year. I don't think comes in the finals and pumps it. You know what? It might be the case because Wishart was actually playing well. Yeah. If Wishart wasn't playing that well and they didn't have a proper backup, maybe not. But they did take a risk with Wishart. Like he wasn't playing this good last year, was he? No. So they risked him and they threw him in there and, and he's, he's been fucking well. excellent. Yeah, he's so even well. him coming off the bench could could like yeah. destroy the middle of the Roosters. Yeah, and we still have not seen the best of Ryan Pappenhausen in season 2024. Yeah, I know. Which is scary. They've done all doing. this. They've done all this without Ryan Pappenhausen playing to his full potential. Yeah, because he hasn't been consistent with injuries. That's what it is. But now he's getting a couple of games on. He's got a couple of games on. I don't think he'll peak. I think this is the third game with the whole spine back. Yeah. With Xavier Coates and all that, yeah. No, oh, no, with with Pappenhausen, Munster, Fuse, and and uh, yeah, and and their what's back his line. name, Harry Grant. Their back line's been unbelievable. Will Warbrick's been he, he's he, so good. He's very underrated. He is. He picked up another level too. But. Defensively, yeah, in attack. Yeah, but defensively, he's so good. He's a big, big body. He's bro. a very big body, but defensively, he always, like nine times out of ten, he makes the right decision. Yeah, it like goes that. unnoticed. Jack Howarth, well, like it trips me out that this guy was a second rower. <laughs> the way he plays. This guy's been a centre his whole life. He's played everywhere, but... He's so good. I think they've used him literally across the whole field. But this position is like... You, this is You've been here your whole life. Is he playing in the centres this week? Yeah, 100%. He's their centre for the next... He, they dropped... They sold Remus Smith because of this bloke. And Remus yeah, Smith is England, a good footballer. They, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a good footballer. Yeah. Remus Smith got dropped. Um, Where's Anderson? I forgot the other guy. Anderson dropped. Anderson he, was playing well as well. He was in because Coates was injured. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. But uh, Nick Meaney... Well... Xavier Coates. No, whoever your name is. They're fantastic, but they're, this is going to, it's a, a cracker back line uh, like up against each other. Yeah. Will Warbrick, Daniel Tupo, Howarth and Sawali, Nick Meany, Manu, it's like Nick Meany with the old head, Joseph Manu, just pure athleticism. Yeah. And then Xavier Coates is up against the world's r- shittest rugby league player, so. <laughs> That's the only mismatch. That's it. <laughs> Xavier Coates bumps him, even though I don't rate Xavier Coates as well. I don't, uh, don't you? I do in attack. Yeah. Oh, I think it's too quiet. Uh, well, he hasn't played. So no, no, I just, in general, even when he plays, even when he was at the Broncos, I think he's got, in attack, he's, fanta- he's a cracker weapon. Very explosive. Because he could do everything, yeah. but he's just too quiet for me. He doesn't get involved? He doesn't get involved as much. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you're right. Yeah. He doesn't He doesn't really like go there looking for the ball. Yeah, like his, Xavier Coates is a very similar player to Cobo. Well, Cobo's put some weight on now. Yeah. But they're very similar, but Cobo gets way more involved. He looks for the ball. You know well, I mean? not even really. They look for him. Yeah. Because he's that big unit. Yeah, but yeah, with Melbourne doesn't 100%. need to really look for him. Agreed, one hundred percent. I understand what, what what you're saying there, yeah. but for me, just I wish he'd get involved more because I think he's a superstar. Yeah. 
He probably will. In the finals, bro, Melbourne's a different animal. Yeah, they are. They're fantastic. Um, but no, the, the backline matchups are going to be fantastic. Um, but again, I think Storm win this. They're just... Yeah. They're too good. They're, they're, they're going to put a pace on, I think, with the Roosters that they can't match. Uh, the Roosters, their weapon is their attack. Mm. They're a type of team. That, so it's, you're going to score 40. We're, we're going to score 44. Yeah. 45, 46, whatever. <laughs> Melbourne is not conceding. More than three times this game. Yeah, I don't think so. I guarantee you, Melbourne will not concede more than three times. I don't think so either. All right. Because uh, like, again, I could be wrong. It's very well, like the matchup in the back line, especially, is very like very similar. Yeah, very that, close. Yeah, that's why. Like, if they're going to score, if Roosters are going to score, Melbourne's going to score t- uh, yeah. twice. Yeah, I do think as well. I forgot to talk about him. Joey Manu yeah. got way more involved last week. He has to be involved even more this week. Yeah, hundred percent. If that, that's a, you cannot win if Joey Manu doesn't get hand in his ball. They can't win. Hand in his ball. Balls in his hand. Ball in his hand. <laughs> no, more than one ball. Just constantly uh, okay. feeding balls. Balls, okay. What's going on? Feeding balls, nice. Uh, but no. I don't know what's going on. That's my two cents. But if there is going to be an Thanks upset, if there is going to be an upset, it would be this game. Yes, completely agree. Because the next game is just the next game, going to be the case. Which let's move into now. Yeah. The Penrith Panthers v the Cronulla Sharks. Uh, there's no way there's going to be an upset here. No, I don't see it. No way. I don't see it unless fucking Nico Hines comes out and fucking does his two years ago form. Even that. Unless Panthers come out and they all drop dead. Do you reckon it's that, that far, far matched apart? I honestly just, I give them like a chance because they're, they're in the game. Like, well, not even 10%. No, no way. Wow. Well, no way. That's I'd, big. There's I'd, always a chance, bro. Trindle's no, no. been playing some good footy. Trindle's playing fantastic. I still think, uh, let me get ins and outs, all right? Teams are both one through eighteen. Maybe Hamlin Ueli is back. No, he's on the he's on the extended bench. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, the Sharks. I still don't think William Kennedy's had a decent game last week. He did, he did. but not he's bad. Not, not. bad. He hasn't showed me enough to say that he's back. To the he's William Kennedy, safe, we know but he's safe. He's safe, but a few weeks ago he was playing absolutely rubbish. Nico Hines, right? As as much as Trindle done last week. This is the Penrith Panthers. Yeah. Nico Hines is your best player. When he he's has in form. to be in the right form. Yeah, and he has to be in everything. Yeah. He really does. Trindle can kick, but Nico Hines has to demand the ball a lot more. Yeah. If they're going to win this Because what Trindle done last week against, what was that, Manly? Manly. Uh, no, against the uh, Cowboys. Cowboys. Against the Cowboys is not going to work against Penrith. No. Definitely not going to work. Definitely not. So Nico Hines, they both have to play out of their skin. Yeah. One has to literally. Cover for the if Nico Hines is doing everything, and then they switch the play for like a Trindle, Trindle to do something for at least a play or two, it might work. But if they're not doing that and they're staying with one one half no, no, like they can't. did against the Cowboys, yeah. it's not going to work. No, you can't. Trindle has had the ball so much more times, got way more receptions than than uh, Nico Hines yeah. did. There is no way that works against Penrith. No, because Penrith is going to know they're going to they're going to use him as their main half. We're yeah. just going to shut him down. Yeah, and the way you're going to play against Penrith is one way. You kick to a corner and you tackle. Yeah. That's it. It's the same with the Roosters. You've got to stay disciplined because if you give Penrith position in your half, yeah. it's no, going to be a long, game. long night. Shut the game. They can score from anywhere. You yeah. need to literally grind this game. 100%. You can't play open style footy. No. You've got to kick to a corner, tackle and hope they make a mistake. Even if you throw the ball around, it's going to be... There's a threat for you to concede. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, You've got to play conservative footy. Kick, finish, get to the end of your set, kick, get down there and keep them there. They can play the, that's the only way they can play. Yeah. That's it. And Nico Hines, off the back of him, they have to, he has to play, he has to be the main guy on the field. If there's ever a moment, this is, is his it, moment. This is it. This is his moment. This is it. This is, if, if you want to get past everything you're going through, yeah. this is the game you come If you want to break that stigma that you're not a big game player, this, yes, there's 100%. nothing bigger than this game right here. 100%. 100%. Right? Um, but... Yeah, so that's what I think. I think the forward, uh, the forward, the battles of the forwards is going to be easily won by the, by the Panthers. Yeah, yeah right. They usually beat everyone. But but in saying that, Cronulla does have a fucking mean fantastic. Ball when it comes to size, they're the biggest in the competition. Yeah. But Moses Leota in finals is a different player. <laughs> you did speak about this before. He's a different player. He is. He's, he's been outstanding. Like I watch him in the regular season. I go, how the f- how did this guy do absolutely destroy the Broncos in last year's grand final? Comes out against the Roosters, pumps them. He answered your question. Absolutely pumped him. But did you? Did, I seen a story about him. He wasn't even like when he went to Penrith training. Yeah. To try out, actually, they they let him get like they didn't even accept him because he came late or whatever. Yeah. 
and then like one of the managers there gave him a job at a car wash, and that's how he got his chance to play for Penrith. Seriously, because he was consistent in the car wash and he was doing the right things. So that manager called to check to check up on him after three weeks. They're like, yeah, he's whatever. I gave him big raps. They brought him back to Penrith. Yeah, well, see. So the bloke is a workhorse. That's but just with that story, I've never heard that story, right? But that just shows, right? Like they they just did. He, he went off. He went. They went after a player who's a hard worker. Yeah. Off the field, on the field. The bloke was a brickie. And he was hating it. And then that bloke gave him an opportunity to the car wash, but he still gave his 110%. Well, and you can tell. The guy mm. gives 110 I seen him once at a, at a Korean barbecue, Bankstown. Mm. Did you? Yeah. Did you try to compete with the eating with him? Uh, no. Why wouldn't you? No, and it was like while Penworth, well, when was it? It was their first, I think it was around their first grand final. The one they lost to Melbourne. Yeah, okay. I think it was around then. 2020. Uh, yeah, around then. I just seen him and I mocked. It's not around there. Mocked him all after that's... No, it wasn't. The guy plays for the Panthers. Yeah, when and I, I was... shat myself. Bro, you know you know who's massive? Who? Fisher Harris. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a tank. When I was getting married, I went to take my pre-wedding photos. Yeah. I went down to fucking near Taronga Zoo or whatever and they were doing a promotion that day for the Indigenous All-Stars or whatever yeah. it was. So New Zealand versus the Indigenous oh, the Marys, All-Stars. yeah. Cody Walker was there and he was there. The bloke had his shirt off, and I was like, "Bro, <laughs> what a fucker! I'm I'm a tall human. This bloke was just a unit, bro." I looked at him. I was like, I "Looked at my wife. I was like, you let's go. <laughs> Don't look at this man.' <laughs> uh, you leave before we even got married. Yeah, I know. No, nah, there's a few big, they're, they're big boppers, bro. The props, they're big boys. But they put 110 percent in, which is they what do. was our point before. Yeah, they really do. They try, and in in finals footy. Leota becomes 160% Freaking prime Sivan receiver, Right First number came to mind Right Well that's a good fucking name Yeah Alright um, But And then the back line Like where do you start Pan- Panthers are just They start started all over the field <sighs> Where do you Edwards is going to run for 300 metres Yeah 100% Truve is probably going to score a try Isaac Tango is going to run for more than 100 metres Alamotti is Brian Toto is going to run for 300 metres as well. <laughs> right? They're just fantastic. Why did you skip over him? He's been playing well. You know what? Let's talk Alan about it. He won't get a start with Penrith. Because through injury. And uh, if the guy wasn't a Jahash. Who? Taylor. Not Taylor? Uh, yeah, Taylor May. Taylor May. If he wasn't a Jahash, well, like, he would not see this team. But he's there. He's there. And he stayed there. Yes, okay. And they were offering him another contract. Mom, there. I got sold a lot. You, <laughs> you did get sold a lot. Yes, hey, he's still not fucking that great straight out. Yeah, I know. He's In the Penrith system, he's still not. That no, great. he's no, he's not the next Sunny Bill, the no. greatest thing since Sunny Bill apparently in our juniors. That's what I heard from you. That's what everyone was saying. Definitely not the case. No, no way. He's not even the next fucking. No way. Who? Who, who can you even compare him to? No one, cuz. He's not the next. But saying <laughs> that, <laughs> he's playing in a qualifier. That's true, but that's because of the fucking team around him. Very true. Actually, he's, he does. He does he's some good things. Right. He does some good things. He's been playing all right. That's not, we'll give him credit. With he's credit he's too. even with the Bulldogs. He's a devastating runner. He is. A he big, really big is. Runner. Yeah, but devastating he has some runner. errors in him. Massive errors. <laughs> Fucking, I know that. Which they got to try to keep the but ball away from him. Anyway, so we tried to break this game down as much as we can. At the end of the day, Penrith win is hundred. Very one sided. Give me the scoreline. I think it'll be big, like thirty eight ten or something. Yeah, I was gonna say like thirty two four. Nico Hines will miss the goal as well. Yeah, it's something he would do. 32-4. Something he'd do. And he'd be, that would score the first try too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no pressure on him. Yeah. 32-4. <laughs> fucking hate him, Garrick. All right. Um, <laughs> We're not even there. Like, how'd we get there? That's it. That's that's the two games. It's so hard to make a video with just two games. No, but we can... Uh, let's I, well, I want to talk to you. Talk to me. Uh, well, that's it? We're done with the... Yeah, just let us know in the comment section below who you think will win this weekend. All right? But again, we think it's a Storms Panthers grand final. It has to be. Has Talk to, to be. me, Maui. And uh, Taruva did say before we move on that he's not leaving there without a premiership ring. So uh, respect. I know. I see it happening. I see it happening too. Yeah, so. I think they're going to win it. I said at the beginning of the year they're going to win it. I still black Melbourne. Yeah. Anyway. Um. So. <laughs> big news. <laughs> what do you think about the Dragons? I don't know who the Dragons think they are. I honestly don't know who they think they are. Let me tell you. The disrespect. <laughs> it's very, very disrespectful. But proceed. What do you think about the Dragons offering the Bulldogs a trade <laughs> <laughs> a trade deal between Ravalawa and fucking 
Josh Adakar. He might as well come and just spit in my face. What the fuck? What is that? Honestly, I don't know. But Did this like think like oh, we have nothing to lose? Let's just throw yeah, him out there. Maybe and see if they buy. I don't know. Brand make a package deal. Uh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> You're offering that's bro. Send Laurie as well. <laughs> yeah, you have to at least and put someone else in there. Listen, oof, for one player. Yeah, because you just want him out. You don't even care about yeah, that. Yeah, hundred percent. But <laughs> the the trade is just rocks and diamonds. It makes no sense. It's rocks and diamonds. You got Ravalawa, which LCC won't pick him up. Yeah, <laughs> and you go and offer just him for Adoka. I see where the, where like they're coming from. Like you don't want him. You just want to get rid of him. It's understandable, but don't fucking. Disrespect us. It is. It's a bit disrespectful. All right. Now listen, I was I was, I heard like I've seen murmurs online and news breaking that lion, the not lion. Lion online. You sound like you said lion. No. Nah. Oh, whatever. Right. A lion. Okay. <laughs> that there was a trade deal like being negotiated between the dragons and and the bulldogs. You thought it was Ben Hunt for Adokar, and I'm thinking, fuck, that's pretty good. You guys don't want Ben Hunt. We don't want Adokar. Swap now, deal. Now that one's disrespectful. Why? You're going to take Ben Hunt and give us that account. You don't want Ben Hunt. You don't no, want we him. do want Ben Hunt. It's not going to be the same money, cuz. We're going to take him and pay him his wage. You guys are going to take out car, pay his wage. Okay. How's that disrespectful? Because... He's a player you don't want. He's a player we don't want. We do want him. Who said we don't want him? Because he's going after next year. He doesn't he's want to be He's probably going to go this season. Probably. Most likely. Yes, that's what I mean. It's not like the Dragons don't want him. But okay. They just if, want him to Flanagan, fucking pull his if finger If Flanagan out. wanted him, he'd keep him. Fla- well, Flanagan told him... We're not going to give you an, a contract extension for now until we see how you go in the preseason and a couple of rounds in. All right. But you're not allowed to look anywhere else. I thought, because of everything that's happening, yeah, that the Dragons are like, you know what? We need a winger. Let's give him Ben Hunt. We do need a winger. Yeah. Let's give him Ben Hunt. They give us Ado Car. So when this broke, I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> it's well, it's disrespectful. It, it is. is. It's, it's actually unbelievable. disrespectful. For not not for anyone more than Josh Adokar. Yeah, of course. Is that what he's that worth? worth? <laughs> Is that what he's worth? This bloke? At least one a bare minimum throw Laurie in there. <laughs> throw, you just need a prop. Throw Laurie in there. No, we don't. We don't need a prop. No, no, you do. No, no, we don't. Trust me. Your reserve grades are here. Listen, straight up, Laurie last season, I'd take him in a heartbeat. Yeah, not Laurie heartbeat. this season. That's the problem. Laurie this season, fuck me. You might have just put a fridge on the field. Yeah, literally. It'll do more. The fridge, the fridge at least will fucking defend. That's what I'm saying. Someone yeah. ran into it. It'll get in, some, it'll, it'll get in someone's way. Yeah. Laurie gets out of people's way. But but Seraldo is the defensive guru. Yes. And he could work with him. With a fridge, yeah, 100%. And Laurie. No, he can't. <laughs> and Ravalawa. Yeah. No way. No <laughs> fucking way. Oh, he won't say the light of first grade. There ever. is no way Ravalawa can be taught how to defend. Surely. There's no way. Surely there is. Because, okay, Moses Sully. Yeah. Couldn't, yeah. couldn't make a tackle or like a... Not a tackle. The guy could tackle as a yeah. unit. Couldn't make a defensive read to save his life last season. Yeah, he's a gun. Look at him now. I'm not going to say he's a gun. No, he's he, like compared to what he was. Way better. Way better. Way and better. Barely misses a tackle. Ravalawa was the same last season as Sully. Yeah. They'd both shoot at open space. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah. Now look at Moses Sully this season. Ravalawa was still fucking doing what he was doing last season. <laughs> You know he lost us the game single-handedly against Para. It makes no sense. Who? Him, Ravalawa. Because you can't just blame it on him. You guys got thumped. No, we didn't. No, I know. You came back. <laughs> Relax. Brother, this bloke missed fucking four tackles. <laughs> four tackles that led to tries. <laughs> Did he actually? He knocked it on about seven times. <laughs> that was his last game for his eight. It's probably his last game in the <laughs> NRL in general. <laughs> it should be. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, I say that. I'm like... Is it disrespectful? It is to me. Uh, no, well, no, 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 no. If I'm the Dragons, it's you're seeing if they buy it straight out. Why not? Why would you make yourself look dumb? You've shipped this guy no, around. Or you've you shopped. You can't. You can't think like you've that. You've shopped him around already. You can't think like you, that, Ali. You've shopped him around already. I think the Bulldogs are desperate to get rid of um, Adoka. And we're desperate to get rid of Ravalawa. I don't. I. I don't. If the Bulldogs might look at it and say he'll be solid in New South Wales Cup. He, yeah, he's all right. We have Blake Wilson. And Ravalawa as a backup. It's not bad. As a backup, honestly. If they teach you, honestly, if they teach him how to defend, it's not bad. As your backup? Yeah. Fuck, he's better than Charlie Skelton? Staines, for example. Skelton? It's better than Skelton? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. In attack, 100%. In attack? Like, his power... That's all Skelton's got. Yeah, but so does Ravalawa. <laughs> yeah, and then they've got no defense. Yeah, so Fuck, they're pretty much like the same. Like. Yeah, pretty much the same. The only thing is Ravalawa's way older than Skelton. That's true. 
But That's he's, why. he's lost Skelton, so it's a making up for it. Yeah, getting him back in, basically. Literally. I don't know, I don't know. But, like, I wouldn't do it if I'm the Bulldogs, I wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't do it I'd either. rather just play your last G and then leave. I'd laugh at it. I'd yeah. laugh at it. Yeah, of course. But I want to say it's disrespectful. I think it's just smart business by the Dragons. See if, they bu- see if they buy it. Brother, no one's bitten. See Super if, League hasn't bitten. See if we buy it. Why if, not? If Super League hasn't bitten, why the fuck would the Bulldogs buy it? I don't know. Maybe the Bulldogs like... They do like to sign everyone under the sun. Three it's understandable. Yeah, but he's got a plan. He's got a certain player in his mind, which I love. Who? Seraldo and uh, Phil Gould. They've got certain players in their head. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all planned out. Yeah. Surely, like, Gould has planned this all out with Seraldo. Yeah, but uh, I don't think Ravalawa is a part of the future. I don't think he's a part of anyone's future. No. I don't. That, that's the problem. We're trying to offload him and no one's picking him up. So well, our last result. How much is he on? Nothing. So who cares? Just keep him low grade. Until his contract runs out. But he's taking the top 30 spot. He doesn't need to drop him out of the top 30. Next year's top 30 hasn't been picked yet. That's true. But like, I don't know, what are they paying? Maybe 500? That's way too much. Way too much. That is way too much. I'm assuming 500. I'm assuming max 500. Surely he's on like 250 or something. Surely. You'd assume. But you know, like it was the Dragons before Shane Flanagan. That's the problem. We're handing out money. We've paid overs for everyone. Players in your team that aren't even... In danger of getting poached to pay over. No. Overs. No. I'm just saying. Or Lomax, really. Was one yeah, of Lomax was bad. That contract was stupid. That was before anyone even had interest yeah, in Yeah, that was stupid. But you guys are here now. I think Ravalawa does leave. I don't know where he goes. No way. He retires at this You point. think he can offer anyone something? Honestly. Anyone? A team, a rugby league team. No. No? No. I'd, lo- I'd love, to, love to see him at the Raiders. Because I think he'll look fantastic in lime green. Why? I don't know. Just his skin tone and that lime green. Maybe. I think he'll look... But I don't think he offers shriek. them better than what they have now. No. No, he doesn't. I, I try to think quickly of... Even the teams underneath us, if he offers any of them anything, the Tigers have better backs than him. Do you, do you think he's better than um, than Charlie Staines? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, bro, I can't get like the image of him playing against Para out of my head. That's the only thing he's done. I didn't watch that game. I know because yeah. you weren't here. If you did, we'll go for the like we'll go for the stats after after we finish this, just so you can see how bad he played, right? Well, let's go. Let's, let me start. Well, you can do it now while, while I'm talking. Up. While you talk, yeah. What week was it? What f- it was round twenty six. But that, that's the thing. Last year he was our top try scorer. Okay, but this year, yeah, only that power game. He's fallen off a cliff, bro. It was really bad. Did he score that game at least? No, he didn't. No. Okay. He made a break, which led Fina to one scored of a hat trick. Yeah, he led to one of our tries, I think. But that's, that's fuck, it. bro. He's considered nine tries against Para. Yeah, yeah. And imagine, was, imagine they had a goal kicker. That was when we scored two tries. At, at that point, they scored nine. We scored two. Because that's bad. I know. All right. Um, what would it have been? The, how many kicks did they miss? Oh, he was in the nineteen jersey as well. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah, they kicked four out of nine. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my Six god! Point, it would have been fifty against Para. Shit! <laughs> All right, uh, let's see this. Ravalawa uh, ran for one hundred and eighty-one meters, one try, uh, one tackle bust, one line break, one line break assist. That was all at the end. One tackle and missed two. <laughs> he missed more, hundred percent. And made three errors. Yeah. Fuck. No, no, he played a lot worse than that sounds. That that had, that's a good game for him. <laughs> that that sounds like a good game for him. Uh, Doesn't do justice to what he done to us. Siva made him look like a child. Yeah, and Sevo is... God, you want to talk about falling off a cliff? I'd well, I'd take Sevo any day of the week over him. Would you swap for Sevo? Over him? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Even Would you swap him for Sevo? Yeah, 100%. Would you play Sevo? No. Do, do you need a starting winger? Yes. So why would you swap for Sevo? What do you mean, why would I swap for Sevo? If you're not going to play him? Because no one else is... Well, I would, I would. I'd play him. The way he ended the season, he was playing well. The Dragons made him look like... Probably no, not even that. even the week before that or the week after that. Against Tigers, yeah, it's true. He played very well. So I would definitely, even if we don't play him, I think we have Corey Allen, which I don't remember much of because the bloke sits on the sideline more than he plays the game. No, he was he's had his ACL, he done it. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's why he didn't not play. Not for us. Oh, I'm saying in, in his career. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's uh, He won State of Origin as the fullback. I do, I do remember that. Mm. But I don't remember him playing. Brenko Lee was the centre. Yeah, that's... Edrick Lee was the winner. Yeah, yeah. And we lost. Anyway, let me not 
fucking get into that. Yeah, so if he was decent, if I remember correctly. Who's this? Corey Allen, yeah. safe. Safe. That's it. No speed. No, he's all right. No, yeah. no nothing. No, no. Very slow. I think he's probably our first choice winger replacement for Lomax, hmm. which is rough. That's not good. I know it's not good. That's not good at all. Unless he brings one of those youngins in. You have to, or you have to sign. You we've to got, sign we've got a good junior system. You got a good junior system, but there's wingers out there, bro. There is. There's yeah. there's wingers coming out the ears. Just like there's fullbacks coming out the ears. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. I want to. I want to see uh, the Ben Hunt situation, right? Yeah. He's going. Yeah, we spoke about it earlier. I don't know. How to Either this that. year or next year, mm. right? Who's Who's your number one candidate? Atkinson. Yeah. Mm. Do you think Cole moving into the halfback position? No. No chance. Even though, even though. That was a you know him getting suspended was the biggest turning point of our season. Hundred percent. You guys fell off a cliff. Why? Do you want to know why? why or do us. you know why? I know why. At the start of the season, Shane Flanagan said that his son's going to take on more of the controlling role of the team. Yes, exactly. He's going to control the team more than Ben Hunt, mm. and Ben Hunt, he's, he's just going to let him play his normal game. Yeah. And we were doing this f- was it, like in an interview, and he said it before the season kicked yeah, off. Yeah, he said it out yeah. there. So the whole season, Kyle has been running the show yeah. behind the scenes. We're in the six. Mm. As soon in as he games gets as well, not behind the scenes. It was in front of everyone. Yeah. Well, you know, some people tend to miss it. It was in front of everyone. Yeah. As soon as he got suspended, which fucking four weeks was too much anyway. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck us. As soon as he got suspended, Ben Hunt had to take that role over again. Got lost. And we lost. Yeah, we lost. We lost those, I think, four games. Maybe we won yeah. one. No, no, he's lost all of them. Did we? Yeah. There you go. Three? I think we lost three out of four. Three, yeah. No, we lost three out of four. What was it? How many games was it before this? I think it was... L- he got suspended for four four weeks. Four weeks, yeah. And I think he done three. No, no, he done he's four. one more. No, he done four. Sure? Yeah. All right, yeah. So, who'd you, who'd you just beat, but? He would have been back for... The I thought you record. guys lost all your games without him. No. I think we beat... Who did we beat? Jack Bird was playing. Where is this game? The first game that, that Jack Bird played... In the 5 8, we won. Titans. Titans. Yeah, he's beat the Titans and he's lost to the Sharks. Then he's lost to Para. Then Raiders. And then the Raiders, yeah. So, yeah, three out of the four. Yeah. Um, that's why I think, I think, mm. Janine Campbell should be your number one target. Well, is he on the market? He'll come for first grade. Yeah, he won't be playing much. No. I'd love him. I'd put him at six. And I, think, I think the Dragons should just suss out the Titans. See who doesn't get game time, Brimson, or uh, yeah, or uh, what's his name, uh, Jaden Campbell. Campbell, and whoever doesn't get the game time, that's your target. I like that idea. It's not a bad idea. I, I think it's I think in it in that scenario. So I'd put Kyle Flanagan at seven. Yes, a hundred percent. In that, that's scenario. why I was asking. Would you play him at seven? Yeah, in that scenario, I think because I, I feel like halfbacks, other than Atkinson, there's no one really out there that's so, saying I'm him. Trindle, as a six. But. Now Trindle, it did come out that he said. He's probably going to go to the open market. Yeah, that's why. That's why I said mention. Yeah, him. so if Trindle goes to the open market, not bad either. D- d- no, that's the player you go for. Over Atkinson? over over anything over, over anyone. You ring him? Hundred percent. That's a big shout. Cause yeah. Well, he did have a good season until he got suspended. No, no, and, and then, then he came back and still and played. Yeah, and he still found. I team. think I think he's uh, if he comes on the market, he's going to go for a premium. That bloke because there's no solid halves out there. There isn't. And he can do everything. He can play as a five eight, as a second, go- as a second in, in charge, mm-hmm. and he can play as the main guy in the team. But I did read today that um, they're looking to move Nico Hines or him to another position just to accommodate for the three. Atkinson. Yeah, just to accommodate for the three. Where are you gonna move him? I can't remember what position they said. Who are you gonna put? Where, where are you gonna put him? They're gonna move Nico Hines out of the halfback position. Yeah, where are you gonna put him? I don't know. But where would you put him? Where, where do you think? Me? Where where <laughs> where would they put him? Do you think at fullback? No. Okay, then where? Are you, where are you going to put your million dollar player in the centres? <laughs> I think that's what it was. I so think. I, I'm not sure. I don't, don't quote me on it. But me, if I was Fitzgibbon, I'd put him at fullback. I'd, I'd put him at fullback too. Because I'd rather put Kennedy in the centres if he's going to put anyone in the centres. Yeah. Or put him at 14 for a couple of weeks. Maybe that's what he said. I can't remember. Then he'd what get him back. But if they, did, if they are tro- thinking of that, it's that stupid. That makes zero sense. Why They're would paying. you pay a million dollars for a guy who's not even a centre to play centre? Just release him or play him fullback at this point. 100%. Like you're wasting everyone's Now, let's time. say he comes onto the market. Would you get him? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a stupid it's question. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot for the Dragons to think about. 
There is, and hopefully he makes the right decision. The rebuild, I think, it's going to take a lot. Like, I think this year was a flash in the pan for you. I don't think you guys go as good as you did this year next year. We go worse? Yeah, I think he's going worse. Why? I don't... There's no... There's no... No strengthening. Well, there is. Who? Valentine Holmes is strengthening. Only in attack. Yeah. Attack isn't really a problem. Damien Cook is pretty strengthening. Again, attack. He's our own defender. Little's a better defender. 100%. Little, little, yeah, better but defender. having them both... Rotating, rotating. Would it can be work. I don't know. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't see your. I don't see anything in your. Val Times is going to add a lot to your back line, but your fullback is an issue. No, he's been, he, his last month was. He's probably one of our best players in the last yeah, month. Yeah, but Every, if he keeps improving, yeah. but how long are we going to sit here and talk about Sloan's potential? Well, he improved tenfold to last season. How lo- Yeah, I agree. But how long are we just going to say his potential is potential is potential? The same. Would you no. take Gutherson? Apparently, that's in the news. No. You wouldn't? No. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Um, I don't see the point no, of it. He's de- old. Poking a dead cow. The, yeah, he's old. The bloke needs to get his knees drained ev- after every fucking game. Yeah. He's a liability. 100%. I wouldn't take him. Any, and he's on fucking 900 plus. Yeah, that's the word. Perfect word to use. Liability. Because he's going to take up a big chunky salary cap. And yeah. He's not going to give you nothing back. 100%. Except for 100, he's going to give 100%. On the field, yes. Yeah, but his 100%, 100% isn't. Isn't hundred percent. It's not where it used to be. No, yeah, no. He's no. getting too old. I wouldn't take him. I think they want him anyway, Para. All right. So you got I think your fullback could be better. If he keeps improving, I'll take that back. He'll be ben, better than like Ben Hunt year. Ben Hunt wants to go. But no, he hasn't even said this. This is all media. But this is the Dragons as well pulling the contract. So what? That could motivate him. Oh, let's see what it does. Yeah. Right? That if, if he's got that cloud over, but his also head, the dragons play. pulling the contract was media. No one came out from the dragon that said we pulled the contract. But no one denied it as well. Why would they? Why would they waste their time? If Ben Hunt knows and the club knows what's going on, why do they need to clear the air? Because uh, the, the thousands, a hundred thousands of fans they have, fuck them. So what? No, you got to come out and say it. No, okay. you have to. Which you have I, to come and. and I agree with it. them pulling the contract anyway. To motivate him. Yes. Yes. Okay, but that's going to be a cloud over your heads. Mm. Your forward pack. Pretty decent. One goes down. <sighs> yeah, we've got the, the young guys coming through the rank that are going to be in our top 30 this year. Oh, uh, yeah. you got Fahu Fafida. Did we see him this year? Yeah, he played a bit. A bit. We got He'll get more game time. Yeah. We got What's his name? Viliami Fafida. He looks good. Yeah, he does look yeah, good. Yeah, he looks good. Him. we got Loco. Loco something. I don't know what his name is. A freak yeah. in the reserve grades. Yeah. But this is all reserves. So we don't really know. There's a few young forwards coming through to our top thirty this year that were in the reserves that absolutely killed. They won the prem- they won the premiership with off the back of those. Well, forwards. maybe 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna be proven wrong. But as of now, when I'm looking at it, I feel like you guys go worse. But it's a part of the rebuild. There's work to be done. Yes, 100%. definitely work to be done. I hundred. It's not an easy job. I can hundred percent tell you we're gonna do a lot better than we did last year. This year or last uh, year? This year, sorry. So you'll make the eight. Yeah. You think you'll make the eight yeah. next year? Yeah. I don't think he's will. I think everyone's strengthened. Who? The Bulldogs. The Bulldogs, I don't see them l- jumping out of the top eight, maybe four for a while. F- okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. But I think you guys are on your way. The but night. I don't think next season's the season. I think the season after. Maybe. I think then you guys um, are going to be good. Well, we got to wait. See, we're, this is all premature talk. Yeah. Well, we got to wait for November 1st to see who, who they're going to target, if they're going to target anyone. That is true. Because even if they ha- they're still contracted for that one last year, yeah, a lot of teams getting... tend to let them go. Yeah. So that's what we're waiting on. I think you need a a, a solid forward. Mm. I agree. A solid forward. I think your back row is is, is set. Stacked. It's beautiful, right? Mm. But you need a, f- a prop. Mm. And a winger. You you need some backs. Mm. They're definitely backs. You yes, need some backs, right? Even uh, even if you get someone in for for the reserve grade as a backup, yeah. you need backs, man. Yeah. Right, okay. and, you, and you also need someone sign a young fullback up and comer, just to put pressure on Sloan. Yeah, you have to. We got well. The I think the winger position can be taken by that Sione Finel. He played one game. Yes, and he looked good. He did look. Yeah, good. he looked good. So he could be there to take over Lomax's spot. Mm. So Corey Allen, where did the fans are just tossing that up. Yeah. So we have players there. We do need experience. We do need proper players. Well, let's see how it goes. Like you said, November first will answer a lot of our questions. Yeah. All right, anyway. I feel like wait before you oh, finish. Yeah, sorry, I feel like sorry. Flanagan does have a plan. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And at the start of this season, he said, "Don't expect the Dragons to play final." So we overachieved this year, hundred percent, being one one win away. Yeah, agreed. 
But he said the year after that should be. But you got to remember, this guy took the Sharks from last. Mm. To a premiership right. in two years. Exactly. Right, so the process, and he's the one that bought in for Fida when he wasn't one of the Tigers. Ennis. Michael Ennis, old. <laughs> swap deal for Michael Leisha. Psh, what a swap deal. Yeah, you were rap. No, we weren't. Why? Oh, at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Young for old. We had egg on our face. Yeah, because fuck, he won a premiership, son. He did, and we got Leisha. Which got released, what, two years later? No, 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 he stayed for a while. The only thing he's going to be remembered for is... We'll leave that. Um... <laughs> But no, I think he's got a plan and I think the plan will come to fruition. I love him. I love Flanagan as a Yeah, yeah no, he's a good coach. I think he's fantastic. Anyway, that's the episode. Dragon special turned into the end there. Yeah, I don't Just know Broke why. down the dragons, all right? Because there's a lot of fucking... There's a lot going on. These guys are in the news. Yeah, there's right? There's a lot going on there. Um, but anyway, leave a comment section in the... Co leave a comment section. Leave a comment in the comment section below talking about everything we spoke about today. Let's your, let us know your thoughts on all... That we spoke about. All right, in the description below, you find our socials TikTok, Instagram. Make sure you're following. Uh, leave a like on this video. Share and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Take him in the face,